Consent calendar. All items are considered routine or implemented earlier council action. It may be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless requested. Anything on consent or action? Move to pull item 7D. D is in Delta. Okay. I'd like to pull item F as in Frank. Okay. Anything else? Action on the remainder. Move to approve the remainder of the consent. Second. Motion is second on the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 7D is adopt a resolution authorizing the closure of 200 lineal feet of the 200 block of Santa Inez Avenue on Friday, August 5th, 2016, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. for Happy Hall School's 65th anniversary party. Rico? Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to point out with Mary Johnson here, who's the director, and with your 65th anniversary and celebration, if you'd like to say some comments about the event and a a course about our long-standing Happy Hall Nursery School in the community. Good evening, and my name is Mary Lou Johnson, and I'm the owner of Happy Hall School. It's hard to believe that we have been there for 65 years. I've been there for 43 of those 65 years. We're having a huge celebration. We have had uh, annual celebrations in our school, but over the last four or five years, we've actually closed the school and have. It's just been a really great experience for our community. We invite our community to attend. We notify our neighbors long in advance. We invite them. We uh, also have um, many activities for a variety of different ages. And the event is, is from 3 until 6 o'clock. We close earlier for setup, and we're really done and tidied up and closed up by 7 o'clock. So we want to invite you, each of you. Thank you for, uh, for your consideration and support. And I'm um, happy to take any questions. Any questions for Mary? No? If yeah, not, I'll move to approve. And congratulations. Thank you. Second. Motion and second to approve item 7D on the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you Great. very much. Thank you. Item 7F has approved the City of San Bruno response letter to the San Mateo County Civil Grand Jury report body cameras the real truth. R E E L. So, so I pulled this because in recent events, the idea of, of body cameras and, and how important they are, and being that the county uh, did, I'm sorry, the uh, grand jury did ask, and uh, we're responding to that uh, of why, uh, or to consider the usage of body cameras for the San Bruno police. So we just wanted to, to bring that up, and maybe we can just hear a little bit from our chief of, of of how he feels about it and, and how it's going to be implemented. Because unless somebody's actually going to read this, this report, they're not going to know what's happening and, and, and what we're going to be considering and how it's going to occur in the future. Yes, sir. Good evening, uh, Honorable Mayor and Council Members. I, I will give you a quick summary of the uh, grand jury's report and our response. On May 24th of, of this year, the San Mateo County Civil Grand Jury did release a report regarding body cameras and the deployment by law enforcement agencies within the county. Uh, the grand jury interviewed over 25 law enforcement personnel in preparation of their report. Uh, no representatives of our department were interviewed in, prep in the preparation, however, of their, uh, their published report. Um, the, the report includes five findings and four recommendations, um, and it directs each city to submit a response by August 22nd of this year, uh, thus the letter that we've submitted for the council's response um, to, the, to the grand jury. In summary, the findings of the report identify five law enforcement agencies that cr uh, currently use or employ body cameras within our county. Uh, furthermore, it found that several agencies who do not employ this resource um, have identified some concerns regarding its implementation, the cost of equipment, uh, the cost of data retention, and policy development. Of the four recommendations developed by the grand jury, two are applicable to our city. The first is a recommendation that the, councils, uh, the council of this city uh, having not adopted a body-worn camera, direct their respective police chief, uh, being me, to develop an appropriate body-worn camera implementation plan and advise the public of that plan no later than November 30th of this year. The second is a recommendation that uh, this, those cities, which we fall into, that have not uh, um, adopted or implemented this uh, resource, do so uh, no later than October 31st of 2017. Uh, we reviewed the findings and recommendations of the report We've pre prepared and submitted a response letter for your approval. Uh, since the police department has not had an opportunity to conduct a thorough analysis of this issue, um, the response letter does not commit the city 
to implementing the recommendations, nor does it determine that the recommendations will not be implemented um, because w whether or not they, uh, they are determined to be warranted. Uh, rather, the response letter notes that the Department will, will conduct a thorough analysis of this matter and provide the results of that analysis to this Council prior to November 30th of this year. Uh, so our recommendation is that the letter as submitted um, be submitted to the grand jury as the city's response to their report. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Motion move. on the... Oh, I was going to say move to approve. Okay. Is there a motion on the second to approve item 7F? Any question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. 